So the center's purpose is to be able to tackle probably the biggest problem that we have in medicine in the 21st century. So this is antibiotic resistance. This is the process where bacteria that we once were able to easily combat with penicillins and tetracyclines that we discovered over the last century have become resistant to not just one or two drugs, but all of them. This process of antibiotic resistance threatens an entire century of medicine. All the progress that we've made is at risk right now because these bacteria that are evolving rapidly as a result of the use of antibiotics are spreading through hospitals, spreading through our communities, spreading through farms. We need to find solutions for this massive problem. This center is here to find those solutions. So solving big problems requires lots of different points of view. And solving big problems requires a critical mass of people who are committed to this problem. McMaster has got both of these in spades. Because of the investments over the last 20 years by the university, by investors such as Mr. DeGroote and Mr. Braley, we've been able to position McMaster as a center of excellence in the field of antimicrobial resistance and in ant antibiotic discovery in the country. Our objectives are really to move this at an international level, at a global level. We have the opportunity to lead in this area. Before the antibiotic era, the average lifespan of Canadians was somewhere between 55 and 65 years of age. Most of what we died of were infectious disease. Having antibiotics around and things like vaccines has changed the way we die. So how are we dying now? We're dying in our late 80s of chronic diseases like diabetes, neurological diseases. That's what antibiotics have done. They bought us 10 to 20 years of extra life. Imagine throwing that away. I don't think we want to do that.